So I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool in Xtool Creative Space. And we're going to create this snowman shape. Um, you might look at this and think it's quite complicated. But once I show you how to use each of the four different pen types, you'll be able to create this and basically any other shape that you'd like. Now I've split this up into red lines that you can score and an outside black line which is the whole shape. And um, I'll leave a link for this image in the description so you can download and follow along. But first I'm just going to show you, I'm going to turn this off, and I'm just going to show you the pen tool and each of the four different types that there are. So if we just click once and again and again, we get a nice sharp corner. But if I was to click and drag, we start getting these handles, which smooths the, the line out. And if we click and drag and click and drag, we get these nice smooth curves. And then if we were to hover over the first point, we'll get a little black dot appear. And that tells us once we click that we've closed the path. And once we've closed the path, we can also move these points about or even change them. So the first, there's four pen tools here, one, two, three, four. The first one's a sharp corner one. The second one is perfect symmetry. The next one's asymmetry. And this one here is angled symmetry. So what they mean is the sharp is obviously a sharp corner. And then from here, if we have a sharp corner, if we choose this one, which is symmetry, we'll get handles on each side. And if we click and drag, you can see the handles stay the same size each side. So that's good for a nice smooth curve in and out. Then if we were to select asymmetry, what that means is we have total control over both sides. So we can have a nice smooth curve coming in. And then if we click and drag this, we can either put it in line so it's a sharp corner or even bring it the other way. So we have a nice sharp corner in and out, just like so. And the last one is angled symmetry. And that is basically, you can alter each handle each side, one being longer than the other. So we can have a long one and a short one. So it comes in very tight and then comes out really smooth. But the main ones you'll use are the sharp corner, the perfect symmetry and asymmetry. Right, so I'm just going to delete that. And if you were to go to image, click on that and select the snowman image, if you want to follow along, you can drop that in and then we can select it and you can align it to center. And in the layers list, I'm just going to lock that just so we can't select it. Okay, so if we click on the pen tool, it dims the image, which is great. And it doesn't matter where we start and it always starts on a sharp corner. Now it's actually laid down a point for me. So I'm just going to undo that by control Z. And if I zoom in, I'm just going to start on this point here. And I'm just going to click and drag. And then halfway of this curve, I'm going to click and drag. And then I'm going to follow it around. And at this sharp corner, I'm going to click and drag. If, if you're starting to move and it lays down a point, you just have to keep pressing up control Z to undo. And I'm looking at these points here where it's halfway around a curve. So I know I'm coming out and coming in. So I'm going to put a point there. And then there's a long arc to here. So I'm going to click and drag here. And then halfway around the bobble, I'm going to click and drag. And at each point, I'm just going to click and drag. And it really doesn't matter what the shape looks like. I can make it look completely weird. 
I keep having to press undo because it keeps laying down a point. I'm just going to zoom out. Now here, I've laid the last point on this point here, but for this one, I'm going to come right down to the middle of the bottom and click and drag and try and get those handles to be perfectly flat. Then if we come round, we can click and drag again, click and drag again, move up, undo, and here, because we're going to finish it off, I'm gonna hover over, wait till that dot appears and click. So, if now I was to open up the layer list and turn the eyeball off for the image, that's what we've got. Now, it, it really doesn't matter because now we're just going to quickly clean up. So once I zoom in, we started here. And if we select the line, we can click on edit. And from there, we can now start to decide and choose which type of pen we want to use. So at the moment it's on symmetry and that's not what we want. The main tool you'll use is asymmetry. So we've got complete control over both sides of the handles. So I'm going to work around in a clockwise direction. So first we've, we've come in and we're coming out and this one's, asymmet this one's symmetry again. We want to change it to asymmetry. And if we move this side of the handle, I hope you can see that we are now starting to follow the black line. This one here, I'm actually going to leave it as symmetry. And if we pull this handle out here, oops, let's select that one. I'm going to bring that one in a bit. And we can work forwards and backwards. So this handle here, we want asymmetry again. And if we bring that round and we can pull it right out. So we're starting to follow this shape here. We lose it here so we can alter this one and even click on the node and drag it up a bit. And because we've lost it here, we can pull up here. So it's coming in and out. And then we go back to this one and then we can pull out again. If we zoom in, we can click and move that one. And hopefully you can see that we are now following the shape. I mean, you can spend as much or as little time as you want on it, but you can get it quite close. Again, this is asymmetry. And I'm just going to go around and follow this black line. This one in the middle, because we want a nice smooth in and out at the same angle, I'm going to leave it at symmetry. And I'm just going to click and move and drag until we get a nice arc coming in and coming out. This one here, you might find that sometimes you have your handles backwards, so you can just move them around until you get what you want. Again, asymmetry, and we can bring round. And, and I'm just going to go around and changing most of these to asymmetry. But here, there's another thing that you can do is if you bring this handle and drop it on top of the node, it'll get rid of it. So if we do that and let go, now we've got control of this, this arc just using one handle. So if we have the handle more over this side, we'll have a, more of an arc over this side. Whereas if we bring it quite far down, most of the arc is down this bottom side. So to have an arc controlled from one handle, it's nice and smooth. We want it about halfway. So if we bring it halfway, you can see we've now got quite a nice curve. And again, I'm just gonna go around and click. Oops, I think that was already on asymmetry. And we're just gonna go around and select and change all of these. And I'm just going to try and change. Yeah, we can change a few at, at the same time. Okay, so we want to bring that up, bring that down. 
and this one wants to be smooth. So we choose symmetry. This one here, asymmetry. So we can just bring that round there. And then I'm going to pull this one out a little bit more. This one will pull out. I'm going to choose both of these and choose asymmetry. And then we can alter this side. The length of the handles, they can matter. But if, you, if you've got an arc that's like this and you want to control it with two handles, just try and get them to be looking the same, the same length. And we can alter this side. That one looks a bit funny because it's got a massive handle from this one. We'll bring that down. Bring that up. Bring that down. Just so it's following nicely. Now, for the main body, I want to keep this bottom one. If we just move that up in the center and flat, and we want it to be symmetry because we're going to control the whole side, the whole curvature with this one handle, really. And if we bring that round, we can see it's quite nice there, but then we're losing it down here. So we can bring that in a bit and then we can bring this out a bit and bring that in a little bit more just so it's it's looking nice and we know that this side of the handle is correct because it's the same as this so we just need to match this handle with this one and if we bring that round moving up and down and in and out we can get it to look similar there. Uh, I'm just going to move that up to there. What I forgot to do was put it onto asymmetry. That's what we need. And then I'm just going to bring that around again. I might just bring that one in because it might not be in the center there. So you can actually use the keys on your keyboard to move it in and out and up and down. I'm going to bring that one in and that's looking quite good. And this handle is quite long, so we just want to bring it down. Click and drag this point so it's here and move that. And again, asymmetry. And then we can finish off just by moving these. So if we were now to turn off the image, you can see we have the outside shape of the snowman. And then I can lock the vectors here. And because we've only got one layer, we now want to choose a different color to follow the curves of the red lines. So I'm just going to click on the pen tool again, click and just drag out some points and click done and I'm going to move that onto a green layer so now we've got a green layer in the list now I'm going to click on the pen tool again and because everything else is locked just undo again we can zoom in and we can click somewhere around where this node is click and drag here and over here we can click and drag now we ended up we end up with a floating handle if we click escape we've now got just a line but it's not following the curve and if we were to select one of these endpoints the pen tool automatically appears again which is a bit of a problem really because all i want to do is alter the alter the handles and even if I just click on one, I can't alter the handle because it just wants to lay down a point. So what we can do for now is just close the, close the lines up by hovering over the first point until you see that black point appear and click and drag. 
And then we can go in and select the handles for these points here and here. And if we zoom in, we can just click and make sure that it is over the, the points on the outside shape here and here. So then we can just move it in and over just like that. And before we finish, we'll just go to the scissors tool, select that and clip that. And if we click done, and turn off the image for the turn off the image. We can see that we have the green line. I'm just going to delete this one. And we're just going to do that again by turning the image on. And they're all locked. And I'm just going to select the pen tool, click and drag, click and drag, and then I'm just going to close it up here. And then we can select that one and alter this curve, just making sure that that is over the first point and this side over this point and moving this one in, this one in, select the scissors and clip and click done. And if you want to keep checking, you can just turn the image off and click, keep checking how it's going. And we can select some circles for here. You can drop one there, copy and paste. And we can have one there, copy and paste and alter the size here. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna copy and paste. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Okay, so where are we now? That's looking better. And I'm just going to go around and do the same thing for here and here and put some circles here and here and do the nose as well. So I'm gonna start in, in the middle of the nose there, bring it round here, here, here and finish off here. And then we can select that one and we're just going to bring that in, and bring that in and we can use the keys to move up and down. I'm going to keep that level. And this one's all done with symmetry. It doesn't really matter. You can bring it in and out. Just get it looking somewhere near. And click done. And the pen tool. Oops. Click done, and I'm just going to add in two more circles here. And here, if we zoom out, and then if we turn the image off, you can see we have the snowman and then you can select the green layer and click on this green and we can change that to a red and we can select the blue oh it's locked unlock it select the blue change that to black and there we have the snowman i hope this tutorial was helpful please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.